We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, God is with us. God is present. Let us acknowledge His presence. But we are also sinners. We have committed wrongdoings. Let us also acknowledge our sinfulness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works. Stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened, while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hat of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles to turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogue every Sabbath. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. 
proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce His salvation day after day. Tell His glory among the nations, among all peoples, His wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Keep my commandments just as I have kept my Father's commandments. My dear brothers and sisters, in this simple sentence, the Lord is telling us to do what God wants us to do, meaning to keep His commandments, to, ab to abide by His laws, just as the Lord has been keeping the commandments. In other words, the Lord is telling us to do something that He Himself has been doing. The Lord has been telling us to do something that He Himself has been doing. It's not like some of parents who are telling their children, you do this, you do that, don't do this, don't do that. But they are not doing what they're saying. That's why in the eyes of their children, they don't have credibility. Kaya ayaw sumunod ng mga bata, sapagat bagamat utos ng utos ang magulang, hindi naman nakikita ng mga bata na ginagawa ng kanilang mga magulang ang kanilang iniuutos. Pero hindi si Jesus. Ang sabi ni Jesus, sundin niyo ang mga utos kung paanong sinusunod ko ang mga utos ng aking ama. Kaya siya credible. Kaya siya pinaniniwalaan sapagkat siya mismo ginagawa ang kanyang sinasabi. But not only that, my dear sisters and brothers, the reason why the Lord wants us to keep the commandments of the, of the Lord is not that He is also doing it, 
only, but He knows what it will give to someone who will be keeping the commandments. He knows that the result of keeping commandments of the Lord is love and joy. Sabi ng Panginoon, no? If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. You will feel the love of the Father. You will feel the love of God. You will be in love. But more than that, you will also experience joy. That is the reason why the Lord is insisting, keep God's commandments. It will not do you any harm. Do not be afraid to do what God wants. Do not be afraid to follow the Lord because following the Lord will give you joy. Para po yung nakatikim kayo ng matamis na mangga, uso ng mga mangga yata ngayon, ano? And then, aayain nyo yung kaibigan nyo, Uy, alika, tikman mo tong manggang to, ang tamis-tamis, No? Ganun ang gustong sabihin ng Panginoon. Halika, gawin mo yung, yung kalooban ng Panginoon. Tikman mo ang tamis-tamis. Ang sarap-sarap. Because sometimes we think that when the Lord wants us to do this, to do that, sometimes we think the Lord is restricting our movement. Parang gusto lang naman tayong kontrolin ng Panginoon eh. Para lang gusto niya na tayo ay masakal. No. Hindi po. Kaya gusto ng Panginoon na sundin natin ang kalooban ng Diyos ay sapagkat alam niyang ang sarap ng ibubunga nito sa atin. Imagine, imagine what the world will be each and every one of us will abide by God's commandments. Sipin nyo, napakasaya ng mundo, napakasaya ng bansa, napakasaya ng mga pamilya, napakasaya ng simbahan, kung ang bawat isang bumubuo nito ay sumusunod sa utos ng Diyos. Hindi tayo sinasakal ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga utos. Gusto niyang maranasan natin ang tamis ng buhay. Gusto niyang maranasan natin ang sarap ng buhay. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. My dear sisters and brothers, if we want to experience the love and joy that come from the Lord, keep His commandments. Amen. Please stand. Christ says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. Let us pray confidently, inspired by his words, as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our church may become a true community, producing fruits of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have departed from this life 
may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let, let us lift up to the Father our personal intentions. God, our Father, hear our prayers and fill our hearts with your love and joy so that we may always live in a way that pleases you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O God, but in this time, above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priests, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray like Jesus. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of, Lamb God, of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.